Well, hello there again. I hope you all are doing very well. I just wanted to come on and share what I've got uh, made for uh, videoing and for my Etsy. Uh, this little journal is called, uh, and it is little, it's called Summer. Aren't we all looking forward to summer? I know I am. Um, let's see, I, I put the little name tag here and uh, put some little dried flowers and a little charm here on the on the uh, on this little hanging charm clip so I'm going to take that off so I can share Summer with you I used to know a little girl named Summer she was so cute so that's why I put this little girl on the front she is adorable at least I think so Anyway, so that's the front. It's got a little uh, metal uh, title, no, tag, no. What do you call these things? Anyway, you can call it what you want because the little piece of mica comes out and that comes out. You can turn it over. You can put your name on there. You can write whatever you want on there. I try to do that with uh, most of my journals. Here's a picture of the spine. And here's what the back looks like. The top has two signatures. It's about 88 pages, approximately. It's got a vintage um, seam binding tie that has been aged a bit. Even though it's vintage, I, I did age it. And there, that's the bottom. I hope I'm in frame. Okay, I kind of like this uh, cloth because it, it reminded me of wallpaper. Okay, so what's the size? That uh, It's about approximately five inches high. Uh, the spine is about one inch. And let's see, the length is about six inches. So um, anyway, let's get in here. 88 pages, two signatures. Oh, it weighs about 15 ounces, uh, just to let you know. All right, so quite simple. And I like the color. I don't know if the monitor picks it up, but the, the color on this um, seam binding is kind of reminds me a little bit of maybe like a Tiffany, kind of faded Tiffany blue. But anyway, that's my perspective on it. Um, inside, of course, got a lot of collage in here, a lot of uh, vintage uh, elements, a lot of, uh, you know, book pages, uh, uh, antique elements, and along with printables and a variety of paper. So that's kind of my style, as is with a lot of styles of junk journal um, makers. So anyway, little cloth pocket here, a little paper clip boy. He can be put somewhere else, but I thought he looked pretty good right there. Just put the paper clip on the back. It's not a hidden paper clip. When you turn them over, you see the, the clip. I didn't do a hidden one. Of course, this is all uh, cloth and some little goodies in here. Piece of ledger from 1890 and some pieces in here. Great for journaling on, doodling on, drawing on, who knows what, whatever you wanna do. A little collage here on this page. So I, I'm just gonna turn the pages so you can see it. Um, I put a lot of um, fussy cuts uh, that I did on, this one's on an antique um, ledger from 1909. This is a pocket from an envelope with a very old uh, photograph in there. And this is book page with uh, fussy cuts applied. Um, some, of course, I don't, am I in frame? I hope so. Music paper that's vintage. This is an authentic um, photograph. Another authentic photograph. I, I tried to really work with uh, the theme of summer and uh, a little handmade button there from book page and some butterflies. So I'll just flip through 
And you can look at this. That's blank on the back. Oh, this is um, <laughs> music paper, piano music paper, and it says in the good old summertime. Thought that was appropriate. And here's some, um, uh, what do you call that? I, I want to say sketchbook, but it's not. It's, um, oh, it'll come to me. Don't worry about it. Here's some antique book page uh, with a little fussy cut applied. And here's a variety of, of different pieces. Here's a postcard that's authentic. Um, it's a book page in there, printable. And uh, this is from Arm & Hammer, I think. Just a little bird card, like a tea card, similar. Some stained papers. This I like. I put these vintage postcards in here and made a little secret. I won't put that back, but here's the same one on this side as a little secret journal and spot. So um, <laughs> they work pretty good for that. You can hide whatever you want to put in there. Here's some more collage. Here's an authentic um, postcard, a postcard, a photograph of these old ladies, older ladies. Well, I'm an older lady. They're probably younger than I am. Anyway, just blank on the back, so there's, there's no writing on the back of that one. I put that there. Here's a postcard in here of Sandy Pond Ayer, Massachusetts, but I thought that was such a pretty, pretty postcard. And it's uh, 1910, August. It's August, still in the summer theme. And so here's the other side of that piano paper. It says, in the good old summertime. Here's some uh, book page, vintage, some, this comes from a, a book and some more vintage book page. This is, um, some more fussy cuts. You know me, I, I really, I got to put labels and fussy cuts and I got to do all that stuff. So I know you, you guys are barren with me. And uh, here's just a little, some um, little antique uh, mother of pearl buttons. I have loads of buttons, but you know, you can just uh, make a little note or put a little picture or make a little doodle or sketch or whatever you want to do under there and then I just used this embroidery floss and um, wound it around. It's kind of relaxing to do that and um, they're kind of pretty. I, I like it anyway. And uh, more book page. Um, this is a little um, collage pocket with some um, uh, book, book page collage, um, antique book page. A little journal and card there. That was made from uh, some old, old wallpaper, antique wallpaper. Here's a belly band with uh, authentic, boy, look at, you can see where that was glued in. Authentic, um, that looks like summertime picture. A little photograph there. And this, of course, this I think is Tim Holtz, and then this is really authentic and old. Uh, let's see, I don't know what that is. Dock root syrup? Yellow dock root. Okay, all right, well. And this is a little printable, so those just fit right back in there. And here's a little 3D effect here with the little flowers and some collage. Scrapbooking paper, I knew I would think of it. It was It's scrapbooking paper. And these all um, I put in here, but this is beautiful antique lace. And it, it reminds me of a, like a spider's web. It's so pretty. Here's a authentic uh, postcard that I did a little collage on. And of course this is a printable. And then 
This is just a little hand stamped uh, envelope that I made. Do all my hand stamping and little goodies in there that you can. And this is an authentic, uh, another bird card. And I just, I love the birds. I think we all love the birds, don't we? So that goes right back in there. There you go. Fun, fun. And here's a uh, book page. Yeah, somebody had some coffee. Hmm. That's actually hand stamped. It's just a stamp I have. I thought this was hilarious. You know, I harvest quite a lot from the Maine Antiques Digest, and this was a picture that I harvested a long time ago. And anyway, uh, she looks so serious. Uh, she's actually helping this photographer. I think he's supposed to be famous. I actually don't remember uh, who it was about. Um, I know I read about it. But anyway, she's supposed to be carrying all the stuff. He's just carrying like one little thing. I don't know if it's a camera or what, but she's hauling everything. That's so true, huh? And then um, she has this, whoops, I'll take this out so I can show you. She has this look on her face that kind of looks a little irritated at these people having fun going through the centuries there. <laughs> Not centuries, but decades later. <laughs> This was probably 1950s. That's what it looks like to me. I don't think it's dated. No, it's not dated. But anyway, um, I made a pocket out of that. You know, she's not here to make life better. Just merely to observe and pass judgment. <laughs> Here's another pocket here with a lot of little goodies in here. And some vintage pages stained pages, lots of writing room. I really tried to put in a lot of um, little goodies where you could write and, and jot notes or take them all out and put them wherever you want, do whatever you want. Here's some avocado dyed paper. Here's a little envelope. There's a little flip here. And oh, here's another one of those little, what do you call those? Policy? envelopes maybe and oh little goodies there i'll just have to let whoever gets this journal discover all that i don't want to ruin the surprises we all like surprises all right i'll put that back here's some uh, vintage graph paper here's a little is this a print i think this is a printable yes that's a printable so I don't know if you can see that. Am I in frame? And so that's some extra uh, writing places there. This is an um, authentic uh, photograph. Look like summer to me. Here's a, a bag pocket with goodies in there. Place to journal on. And this is also a place to journal on here. I'm going to move this over so you can see that this flips. This is some really antique line paper that's it's really old. That's that's what I wanted to say. I put some gesso here. And uh, so this here's a piece of um, paper like a date from a date book from May 69. <laughs> Close to summer. Here's a fabric and paper collage here with a vintage stamp. This is um, parchment paper. Feels so nice. And uh, here's another little secret journaling spot under there. This is authentic uh, wallpaper. That's antique wallpaper. And I did uh, back it uh, with a parchment paper. And I just wanted to make sure that it, it was stood whatever it needed to withstand. Here's some eyelet. And this is an authentic um, picture. The pretty little lady, I'll show you. There you go. Sitting with her bunch of flowers on a rock. Love it. And here's some more writing room from an old book page. This is a very antique book page. A little collage to write on and another um, pocket on the other side of that paper bag with some goodies in it and uh, some 
Got to put in the logarithms there. And I like that little pocket because it's a genuine quality. Well, he looks like he is of genuine quality. Little, uh, I think that might have been, that may be a Tim Holtz piece. That's a Tim Holtz piece as well. And uh, is there anything? Yeah, there's, there's that in there. Okay, and here's a little tuck here with some